Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Let us design a circular water tank with rigid base now. Okay. So in this particular lecture, I am going to focus on design. Yes, we are going to focus mainly on design of circular water tank with rigid base. Okay. Now understand the given data. Again, given data I am considering same so that you will understand the design properly. Okay. So same capacity of water that we have to store that is 5 lakh liters height 4 meters same example like previous okay freeboard 200 mm same grade of material m25 and fe415 are given design a circular water tank with rigid base use approximate method for the analysis it is mentioned so here many times they said whether use approximate method or you can refer is math is code method so in this particular example i'm going to use approximate method later word okay uh, only design constants are change okay so uh, sorry coefficients are change okay so uh, after this yes i'm going to solve in same lecture same example by using is code method also okay so go through it lecture so that you can easily design a circular water tank with a rigid base okay Circular water tank with flexible base never ask by using IS code method because no any coefficient is given, no any table is given for a circular water tank with flexible base. Only approximate method is applicable for the analysis. Here you can go with any one method, either approximate method or you can go with IS code method. So I am going through both particularly in this lecture fine so see this content so here in the solution part very first of all yes we are going to find out again same permissible values for the materials so using is3370 part 2 we get sigma CBC 8.5 MPA, right? Sigma HD 130 MPA for these grades of material and sigma CT 1.3 MPA. So these values already we refer. So here we refer table number 1, table number 4, table number two of is so go through that is three three seven zero part two okay design constants for same we know the formula 280 divided by three sigma cbc so this value we get 11 then we find out k it is point 42 we get might be no, we need to check this value m sigma cbc upon m sigma cbc plus sigma ht so put the value m sigma cbc 11 into sigma cbc okay first of all check it out first value also 280 divided by in bracket 3 into uh, 3 into 8.5 yes it is 10.98 so this is correct modular ratio now k K we know M sigma CBC so 11 into 8.5 plus sigma ST at the bottom you know? sigma CBC plus sigma M sigma CBC plus sigma ST so 130 so, so M sigma CBC divided by answer so it is 0.42 this is also correct okay now what about J 1 minus K by 3 so 1 minus answer divided by 3 so it is 0 0.86 and q q is 1 half sigma cbc 1 half 8.5 into kg 0 0.42 into 0 0.86 so it is 1.54 okay so we get all these fine so this is we get by using is3370 part 2 now and design constants of WSM we calculate second step 
now we have to decide the dimensions of the water tank okay so dimensions i am saying not diameter okay so not only diameter here also we are going to assume thickness so that's why i am saying dimensions of water tank okay so yes we equate volume to capacity okay so pi by 4 d square into height 4 you know h we equate to capacity 5 lakh liters so 5 lakh liters divided by 10 raised to 3 so we get value in cubic meter so diameter we can calculate by using this and we get 13 meter this is already we calculate in previous lecture fine so diameter we get it now what about thickness so as